Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to go over how to use my MetaHuman Motion Apply script. This basically takes animation or motion capture data from a custom skeleton and applies it to your MetaHuman rig. So the first step after unzipping the files is to grab this install file, drag it into your Maya viewport, and it should create the icon for the tool on whichever shelf you have open at that time and it'll copy all the needed files to your user scripts folder. Now if for any reason on some people's machines you knows it does sometimes it has permissions issues depending on how your machine is set up and in that case you can follow the manual installation instructions I've provided a link for in the description of this video. The next thing that we want to do is reference in our rig. So you don't have to have the rig referenced for the tool to work, but it's kind of a preferred workflow to just go to File, Reference Editor, hit the little plus, navigate over to where your MetaHuman rig lives, reference it in. This way, if later on you make any updates, changes to your rig file, you can simply update that rig, and because it's referenced in, you won't lose your animation for your shot and things like that. So we got our character referenced in. In my case, I'm using my uh, custom body control rig, which is another tool that I have available. You don't have to use that in order to transfer the uh, motion capture or animation data using this script. If you don't have a control rig, like my body control rig in your file, it will apply the motion capture to your drive skeleton for your MetaHuman instead. So the next step is I'm gonna go ahead and reference in my motion capture data the motion capture can be referenced in or you can import it either way is fine this is just some free data I'm gonna grab this jogging FBX file and reference that in and this is just some data from the SFU motion capture database which I have a link for in the description below so if we just scrub through we can see that this skeleton with the motion capture data is just a guy running around in a circle so I want to get this motion onto my MetaHuman. So the first thing I'll do is just hide polygons so that I'm just looking at the skeletons. And we just want to try to match up these two skeletons as best as we can. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the timeline to add some additional frames at the beginning. We'll start at frame negative 10 before the motion capture keyframes begin. And if your skeleton proportions are vastly different, like you have a gigantic skeleton, uh, then I would say just add a group and then you can scale that group down to be about you know closer to the size of your metahuman. This is just so that it's easier to line up the characters. So now I'm selecting the hips and I'll just click on the, press down the V key and drag the motion capture skeleton over to my metahuman and just snap it in place. Then I'm just gonna rotate it around. And what we wanna do is match the basic pose on this frame of the uh, motion capture or animation skeleton to our default metahuman pose. And the better job you do at this, the better the motion transfer is gonna be. So let's start with the legs. I'm just going to rotate them in place. And I just want the limbs to be parallel. They don't have to match exactly, but it's good if they have the same general pose. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And next, I can see that the spine, so this hip, the hips can be rotated a little bit to match a little better. Then I can see that the spine also needs to be rotated. I'm just going to hide the nerves curves, the controls, so that we're just looking at the joints. And so the spine is a little bit off, so I'm just going to rotate the motion capture spine. I'm not going to worry about aligning this because this is kind of a default straight spine. The metahuman spine's default pose is just 
you know, bent a little differently. And that's fine. We really just want it to be the default pose. So we don't have to worry about you know, bending the spine unless it's just not straight at all. So now I'm going to go and just grab like the upper arm. And again, it doesn't have to be in the same place. I mean, the proportions are different and that's fine. I'm just making sure that it's parallel. And then I can see that the metahuman upper arm is rotated a bit. So I'm going to rotate it like that. That's the part that's important, is just getting the rotation to be similar to our metahuman. Otherwise, the animation, once it gets applied to your metahuman, it's just going to be offset, which you can make tweaks to that and adjust it just using Maya's animation tools. But by spending a little bit of time you know, lining that up, you can save yourself a lot of trouble. So now that I've got it posed the way I want, I'm going to just select the top node of the motion capture skeleton, go to select hierarchy, and then I can just click on the S key to keyframe all of those channels. So now that I've got them lined up, I just want to set a keyframe. I'm going to launch the tool, just click on the icon. And so I'll just go over the basics of the tool real quick. So in the first column, you have all the metahuman joints listed. You can't edit this because all of the metahumans have the same joints. So you wouldn't really want to change that. The part that you would want to change is tell the script what the corresponding joints are. So what's the root joint of your motion capture skeleton or your animation skeleton? So you'd basically fill this in. And to make it a little easier, so let's say the root of the metahuman corresponds to, like I want to take the animation of the hips for my motion capture skeleton and apply it to the root of the metahuman. So I'll select the hips, add source, and then for the spine, I can go to the motion capture spine and just add source. And so in that way I can fill in this whole column. Now, there might be some joints that you don't have, just leave them empty or leave them you know with this motion source joint or you know just type in none whatever you like you can skip joints for example you might not have all the fingers motion captured so just leave them blank you don't have to put anything in there this can be a little bit tedious the first time you do it for a new skeleton so i've made it easy to you know once you've populated this save that match file and in this case I've already created a match file for this particular rig, which is based off of a Mixamo skeleton. And I'll just show you what that file looks like. I've included that with the script installation. And it's just a list. It's a list of all of the joints in here. And if you look at it, you can see some of them just say none. Or if I just left motion source joint in there, it would just say that. And that's fine. Those are ones that don't have a corresponding joint in this skeleton. So I'm gonna go ahead and load that file that I've already created. Just hit the load match file button, navigate over to where you've saved your match file, open it, and now you can see all of those assignments are populated in here. Once you've done this, then you can just load your match file every time you wanna use this. So the next step is just select a part of your motion capture or animation skeleton. Control select a part of your metahuman rig. This way the script knows which character you want to apply the data to. And then you just click on apply mocap and it's gonna go through your entire timeline, whatever frame range you've set in your timeline and bake the uh, motion capture data onto your metahuman skeleton. So if I scrub through, I can see that now my metahuman skeleton is is moving with the motion capture skeleton. And just to make it a little easier to see, I'll display the actual character. And you can see now he's jogging around in a circle. And then you can go in and as you would do with uh, motion capture animation data that you've retargeted, you can use Maya's graph editor and offset keys if you want to pull the arms a little bit out from the body, things like that. And you can do any kind of animation work on top of this. Now, as I mentioned, if you are using my body control rig, which is another script you can purchase, then it will apply the motion capture data directly to the controls. If it doesn't find that body control rig in your file, that's fine it will apply the keyframe data to your root drive skeleton. 
which comes with the metahuman. And that's it. So this isn't meant to be as complex a solution as Motion Builder for retargeting motion capture onto different rigs. This is meant to be a simple solution for people to just quickly apply motion capture data or animation data from a custom skeleton to your metahuman. Thanks a lot.